Hey guys, it's Irish again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put gaps in your i3 configuration. Um, I personally, I don't like gaps, but uh, you know, some people out there uh, like the gaps. I have noticed a lot of, pe uh, of people putting gaps in their configuration file uh, on the i3 community on Google Plus, and I've seen a few on the Arch communities. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So if you uh, have Arch, you can find the i3 gaps in uh, the Arch user repository. If anyone is uh, has anything else, I will put a li link to the description below. Uh, the guy who created this has uh, instructions on how to install it if you're on an Ubuntu based or on like uh, RPM uh, Base like Fedora or OpenSUSE. So if we come in here, do it Yaourt uh, and then i3 gaps. You'll notice that there are two available. There's uh, the i3-gaps-git, which is the more, more stable one, and then there's the i3-gaps-next-git which I believe uh, is the next branch, so I'm going to guess it's the testing. So anytime that this guy, uh, the author, decides to change anything, he'll get the latest updates. So you, you get to choose, uh, you can pick either one. Uh, just, uh, just to note that if you have i3 installed already, uh, this will override the, the normal i3 window manager that uh, is in the repos so uh, just be careful with that I guess if you're really wanting gaps do it that way and if you're not uh, if you don't have i3 installed then I would suggest this so let's uh, bring up our uh, configuration file uh, for this demonstration I'm just going to use uh, sublime uh, text editor but again, you guys can use whatever you want. I'm a, a Vim guy, but for video quality, it is actually easier to do it on a um, text editor like Gedit or anything else like that. So let's make this big. So you can put this anywhere you want. Um, I'll let me show you the website before I get started with this. So if you go to the AUR tab on the Arch website and type in i3 gaps it does uh, come up with uh, this and this is uh, the author's uh, github page and then down below he tells you how to do everything and then uh, here's the wiki so if you are on arch fedora ubuntu or anything else he tells you how to uh, what to install and how to install it so uh, let's just go back here but everything that I uh, will show you, uh, you can read off of the site. Uh, you can see the, the picture right here. So the first thing we're going to do is just do regular gaps. So if we go to, uh, I like to put it above my bar. So we're just going to uh, push that down. So there are two different types of gaps. So if you uh, put two different together, the part uh, that the two separation, two screens separate, that would be the inner, and then the obviously the borders would be the outer. So to do this, uh, so for the inner one, we'll just you just type in gaps, inner, and then the amount of pixel size. So just to show this for demonstration, we'll just do 10. And then for the border, we'll make it uh, even more extreme. So we just do gaps outer and then we'll just do 25. So if we save this and refresh it you will see this go down. So as you can see that there's five uh, pixel lengths here or 10 and then 25 on the outer one. Again you can uh, decide to change this up but if you want it for every single uh, workstation, then I would suggest doing it this way. But if you want gaps for a certain workstation, 
if we go to his website here you can just do workspace then the number then gaps and then the thing that we just did so inner so you can have gaps only on uh, workstation 2 uh, for whatever and then you can have like work workstation 4 for like GIMP if you want more of a uh, gaps with that or uh, for one like I have it for my um, Firefox and then if you want he just goes more into depth than I can cover on this but uh, there's something that's called smart gaps so if you want gaps to only be used if there is more than one container on the workspace then you can use smart gaps so I'm going to show you that one really fast uh, let's go back go full screen so we're just going to comment these two out and then all you just do is smart underscore gaps and then on we'll save this and then we will refresh it so as you can see it went back to here but if we go here uh, it doesn't look like it worked hang on okay it does look like it did work uh, I just was misunderstood what the uh, smart gaps is so with smart gaps uh, so if you have the only time that you would see gaps is if you have multiple containers open such as the two but if we go to uh, another workstation and just open one you, it will fill up automatically and then if you press it again then you'll see the gaps so uh, I do apologize for the misunderstanding um, so that's all I have for this video um, if you guys have any questions or have any issues uh, I'll do my best to answer them but I do suggest uh, going to this website for any questions that you may have I will put it in the description below and I will catch you guys next video